Faces. <laughs> Hi guys, we're here for another tutorial series with Bad Faces. Um, I am going to be doing another quick series of Halloween designs here on Atalia. <laughs> She's helping us out today. Um, so the first one I wanted to do was a grilly hollow Halloween design, um, a butterfly. So this one is um, basically just switching up your your butterfly yeah. colors with a little bit of Halloween colors and adding in a little bit of webbing and just making it just a little bit scary but still pretty. So for this design, let me grab some sponges. I should have had all of these out already. Okay, I'll be using just a quarter sponge or excuse me, it's a petal sponge. I just half the sponge and then shaped it myself to the shape I wanted it. And I need to dye my sponges. I saw that new technique, that looks pretty cool. And this uh, is called Tigger. This is a rainbow cake by Silly Farm. And I've just uh, restocked it myself. Um, I love this cake, I've used it a lot. But it has all kinds of fun metallic colors in there. And I use it a lot for tigers, but it works perfect for this Halloween inspired butterfly. Get a really good load on there. Did I scratch you a little bit? Sorry. <laughs> kind of refreshing, right? It's a hot day here. Go ahead and close your eyes for me, love. Okay. And turn this way so they can see. So, I start in the corner of the eye. Lightly press. Make sure to kind of fill in all of that space above the eye. And then you can angle it out. And create pretty much whatever shape you want for the butterfly. Uh, <laughs> top wing, close your eye for me. Okay. Same thing through the bottom, I just cut right through the eye, Ow. tap down, <laughs> I'm sorry, I'm holding your face where I need you to be, and then angle the bottom wing kind of out. <laughs> so just like that. Okay, and turn towards me, let's get the other side done. And keep your eye closed. <laughs> Am I pressing too hard on you? No, it's just that. <laughs> okay, let me shape this wing a little bit better. Yeah, it's kind of... Yeah, mm -hmm. I think I had my... It's just pink though, so that's always the great thing. Good you can thing always is, change it, huh? Yeah, good thing is that with the pink okay. or anything. Okay. It's still just a tick off. Let me fix that part. There we go. That looks more even. So she's almost looking like, um, what's that Halloween candy? Uh, candy oh, corn. Okay. <laughs> she's looking like a candy corn at this point. I'm going to add a little bit of sparkle. Close your eyes for me. Okay. A little bit of sparkle on that. And now we're just going to do a little bit of outline. For the butterfly body, I'm going to be using some bling. I have this cute little spider bling I made. I don't know if you can see that okay. I'm going to add a little bit of prosade on the back of that and let that dry while we get started on the line work. So Miss Atalia, what do you want to be for Halloween this year, huh? Um, I don't you don't know, we haven't even talked about it, but we got to start putting some thought into it. We really like Halloween around here. We have a lot of Halloween birthdays in this house. So, <laughs> Okay, so I got the prose drying on that. Now we're going to do some line work. And for the line work, I'm just going to go ahead and use some wolf black. Uh, where is it at? There we go. And I'm going to be using a half inch angled brush. And I like to use angled brushes. My friend Amber, um, she taught me to use angled brushes, which another face painting friend taught her. And um, since then, I have used to always use a round brush to do my line work for my butterfly, but I really do like the angled brush. It allows you to give a lot more detail. Got a nice load on that. And turn this way for me. And let's see, let's see if we can get a little bit of a better angle right there. Okay. All right, so we're gonna start here and pull. 
and just work on the edge of your brush. So same thing on this side. Pull, just like that, okay? Now, let's see if you can see, okay, okay. From this line here, I like to grab it and just kind of press, give a little wiggle, pull down. Come a little bit beneath it and do the same thing, pull down. And then the last one, connect right towards her eye and try to end on the tip of your brush. So you've given the butterfly all kinds of dimension with just wiggling the brush. Oh, it looks pretty. Yeah, it's, it looks pretty but a little bit scary. So just a little bit different than what you would typically do for your butterfly using those Halloween colors. So you could even call this like a candy corn butterfly. So for the bottom wing, I like to pull the line straight out, wiggle, pull in, work on the tip of that brush. And I'm kind of doing this out of angle, so it's kind of weird. And there we go. So we've created the bottom wing. For the top, I usually like to squeeze in three, the bottom at least two. Okay, and turn this way. We're going to do the same thing on the other side here. Pull in, pull in, pull in. Okay, and turn this way. And connect that one a little bit better around the eye. And let's pull out. Okay, so there we go. We got the basis of our butterfly done. Don't touch it, <laughs> silly goose. Now look at you, dragged it all down. I did. A little bit on your cheek. Okay, now for the fun part, adding a little bit of detail in. So working on just the tip of the same load here, now that it's a little bit dry, we've used most of the paint, we're going to add a little bit of detail in. Just by bringing in, working on the tip of your brush, flick some lines in, just like that. And as you always just want them going the same direction and coming at different variations in height. Mm -hmm. Just like that. Okay, and do the same thing on this side. Turn towards me. And this is such a quick little thing to add a lot of detail, a lot of wow factor. I almost got it. I almost got it. <laughs> Let me drag this one a little bit further up too. Okay. So there we go, we got the basis of our butterfly. Now, for the body, like I said, we'll be using our bling piece, but I also wanna add a little web in the back just to give it that more Halloween scary feel. So you could always put the webbing inside the butterfly wings, that's really pretty too. But for this particular design, we're gonna do the webbing right on our forehead here, almost just like you would do for Spider-Man. Our almost, um, you know, sugar skull like. Um, you see a lot of the sugar skulls that have the webbing up here. And from my understanding, that's, um, it's not a traditional thing. Um, I guess webbing is more of a symbol of, you know, scary versus you're supposed to celebrate the Day of the Dead. You're supposed to celebrate the culture. Um, that's just what a friend told me, so. I try to stick away from doing webbing on sugar skulls, but for this design, why not? Mm -hmm. And on this one, you know what, let's just connect it straight to the butterfly. Make the web connect all the way. Okay, so a little web in the background there. We can certainly add a little bit of highlight to that, a little bit of fun glitter. Mm -hmm. Our bling has had plenty of time to dry, so we're going to place our spider. Oh, I got your hair all in the way. <laughs> Get your little hair piece out of there. There we go. All right, place the spider right in the middle of her forehead and then lay the bling part down. I found these cute little spider blings at Michael's last year and I just have a bunch of them left over. I went overboard last year, but honestly, I think I'm gonna run out this year because I utilize bling so much more now than I did last year. So I just hold that in place for a quick second there. You can add in some fun, scary lips. That's always really pretty. Mm. For this particular design, I'm going to add a little bit of more bling around it. Almost like dew. Ooh, my little tip's clogged. This is um, liquid bling, and sometimes the tip gets clogged. So, I guess we're going to skip that because I don't have anything to poke it with. And I'll just add in some chunky. So, kind of the same idea. Just tap down a little bit of chunky glitter here and there. And it kind of gives it just a little bit of sparkle inside the web. 
You can do the same thing here in the black. So just like adding dots in for detail, sometimes I'll just do the chunky glitter instead. Give it a little sparkle here and there. And the gold is goes really well with the blacks and the orange. So there we go. There is a cute little Halloween inspired butterfly with a cute little web and some custom made blink. I hope this helps you out on your next Halloween event and we'll see you guys back soon with another tutorial from Fat Faces. Bye. Bye. See you next time.